Uh, it's a pleasure to join you today uh, in this uh, very important plenary session uh, on inequality and external shocks, creating opportunities and building resilience, uh, where we can exchange ideas on how to create better opportunities for all women. Uh, when we talk about women, climate change and environment, we're actually talking about development. Uh, and this is a topic that unites the global community through the multilateral system and through multilateral dialogue. Uh, equal opportunity for all women is an important catalyst in building climate resilience. Considering the quantifiable proof established by multilateral institutions, economically empowering women promotes inclusion, increases growth, productivity, all of this is exactly what we need today, particularly uh, with the global uh, context that we are facing. Uh, the government's recent efforts uh, and reforms centered around female uh, labor uh, force participation, uh, trying to overcome gender-based violence, uh, trying to uh, also improve financial inclusion and female access to finance, uh, opening the door to increasing uh, the percentages of female workers employed across different industries, readdressing mechanisms for reporting violations, increasing the number of transaction accounts uh, that uh, are opened by women. Uh, also, uh, the umbrella for all of this is Egypt's national strategy for empowering Egyptian women 2030, uh, which, uh, you know, uh, through its different um, pillars, uh, drives the country's policies uh, on women's empowerment and equality. And when we talk about empowerment, we're talking about economic empowerment, social empowerment, and political empowerment. Uh, and in this context, uh, the Ministry of International Cooperation uh, with the National Council for Women uh, and the World Economic Forum uh, created uh, together uh, Closing the Gender Gap Accelerator. It's a public-private platform uh, launched uh, here. Uh, and it's the first of its kind in the Middle East uh, and uh, Africa and North Africa. Uh, and the idea is to enhance public-private collaboration uh, to basically address uh, uh, many of the objectives uh, which are important uh, to push uh, economic growth and, and push uh, uh, the uh, participation of women uh, within uh, uh, society. Um, something else which is uh, important to underscore uh, that uh, with uh, our um, development partners, our key partners, particularly when it comes to technical assistance and financing, uh, together we are uh, trying to uh, uh, craft innovative and flexible financing tools uh, to reflect women's priorities and needs uh, for their effective participation in the climate action. Uh, something else uh, important to mention, uh, we launched our new current country strategy uh, with EBRD. Uh, this was uh, approved uh, by the board last February. And uh, after completing this comprehensive uh, and inclusive process uh, that uh, included engagement from different stakeholders, uh, there was also, uh, uh, you know, uh, very important, uh, the um, implementation level includes uh, the focus on an inclusive economy. And with an inclusive economy, uh, we are also uh, thinking very much uh, about or forefront is uh, the inclusion of uh, women in the uh, labor force. Also, uh, the strategy is based on uh, a green and digital economy. And here comes uh, this intersection uh, between uh, gender and climate, uh, and climate change. Uh, something else is uh, promoting gender-sensitive uh, investments uh, and the role of women in climate action uh, is quite uh, important in adaptation and mitigation programs, uh, technology transfer as well, uh, and capacity uh, uh, building. All of these are items that uh, we are going to be uh, looking into uh, more detail during COP27, uh, and uh, this is uh, definitely uh, going to be a highlight. Uh, there was, uh, during COP26, focus on uh, gender equality and climate change, uh, and we are also going to be uh, picking this up uh, during COP27 uh, uh, with a focus uh, on uh, uh, the role of women in the a very important uh, landscape of projects going forward. Uh, putting forth uh, gender-informed approaches and policy making, uh, coupled with the, the four areas that I mentioned, uh, mitigation, adaptation, technology, transfer, and financing, uh, this is the only way that we will be able to push forward uh, the agenda of climate change and gender. Uh, women always play a key role when it comes to change. Therefore, hearing their voice and having them involved uh, is uh, something which is uh, no longer um, a choice, but it is a necessity, and uh, they provide uh, uh, 
very good practices in their communities, and that's uh, why uh, their voices need to be heard uh, much more uh, to reap the benefits towards more impactful change. Good luck in the session, and thank you very much.